How you doing? My name is Alan Rucker. I'm doing another brief tutorial video regarding endotracheal intubation. This time we're going to do digital intubation. I'm going to use my fingers instead of using a laryngoscope. Okay, all I'm going to have is a 7.5 endotracheal tube with the stylet and the 10 cc syringe and just a BVM. Okay, so it's already going to be assumed that this patient is already anesthetized, that we already gave uh, some Versed to this patient, some fentanyl, atomidate to this patient already to facilitate that uh, intubation. So we're gonna make sure he's relaxed. We're gonna make sure the patient is on SPO2 and the cardiac monitor so we see if anything is going wrong. All right, so just let me take off my band for a second. All right, so what I would do, once this patient is anesthetized and the patient has already been hyperventilated, all right, I would make sure this tube is lubricated. All right, I'm just gonna find my landmark with my fingers, Deputy Goddess. Okay, I'm gonna slip the tube in between my fingers and the tongue. I'm gonna hyperextend the head. I'm gonna pin the tube in between the epiglottis and my fingers, and I'm gonna insert it through the hole, okay? Which is the vocal, the glottic opening between the vocal cords. I'm gonna ventilate, see? So I have it, you do have chest rise, all right? I'm gonna inflate the cuff. Now you do have a very good chest rise now since we have the cuff of the endotracheal tube inflated to 10 cc's. So we'll do the APCs, we'll do axillary bases, and then we'll also do epigastric area, okay? So it's very, it's a very simple technique. My contact information is on the board, okay? www.ems-education.org Email ruckerallen at yahoo.com Also the business email arucker at ems-education.org Thank you.